I thought I'd have a go at doing some resin art for a change. Hi, I'm John Clothier and welcome to my channel. I thought I'd do something different today and I'm going to have a go at doing some resin art. This is something I've seen done by Pam Harris of Highland Boxes and ever since I saw her do it I thought this looks like a lot of fun so I'm going to have a go myself. So I've got myself set up here. I've got a small canvas which is 9 inches by 12 inches and it's just a canvas board. Um, I thought it'd be good to try out with that. It's put on four disposable cups. I've created myself a framework and I've put down some greaseproof paper. So that's just going to catch any of the uh, overspill from the resin. I've got Luminite clear cast here ready to go. I've got a couple of cups and I've got some colours. So I thought I might do purple and white. So I've got a Luminite violet dye and the Illuminite white dye. I've got some pearlescent metallic black that I'm going to put in with the purple. And I've got this um, Interference Violet Perlex powder, um, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a white powder, but in certain lights it shimmers purple. And I thought I might put that in with the white. Now, all of these products um, are easily available in the UK. Um, I get all of my things from House of Resin. Okay, so let's get on with it. I've no idea how much resin I'm going to need, um, so I'm just going to have to kind of work it out as I go along. Each depression of the plunger on these does 20 mil, so if I do two of those, that gives me 20, 40, 60, 80 mil, which should be loads, I think. It's probably even too much, to be honest. Um, I'll mix up one batch first and see what it looks like, I think. So start with the part B. And let's add the white to the first one. So three or four drops. A couple of uh, little dobbles of the pearlescent powder or the iridescent or interference powder actually. Let's give that a mix. Okay, I can put my A with that now. Let's give that a little bit of a mix. Okay, just put that to one side and let's tackle the, the purple. So again, I'm gonna go for Three drops of the purple, I think. The globule of the metallic black. Mix that in. And now I'll add the A. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give them both a really good mix and just leave them to thicken a little bit and then I'll start pouring. Okay, they're both mixed so I'm going to start with the purple and let's just pour some in the centre. That's not gone as far as I thought it would actually, that's quite surprising. So let's give that a little bit of a move around. Okay, so now I need to apply my white. And I'm not quite sure how best to do this. I'm wondering how many men that you trapped end up in the ocean. I wish that I could understand why I had this stupid crush. Right, so that's the white applied. Now all I'm going to do is just move it around on the board a little bit. The girl that goes over there being perfect, getting the roses. I bet that you don't even care. Now I'm going to take my hair dryer and just see if I can kind of move it around a little bit. But if you ask me, I'm pretty sure that I'll come running. Though I should say. 
So I've got a really nice pattern now, um, and I love that. So all I'm going to do now is just use the, the gas torch just to pop any of the surface button uh, bubbles. Then I'll leave that to cure overnight. And there we go. It's the next day and the resin has, eh, it's not exactly cured, but it's certainly gone solid. Be another few days before it goes completely hard. Um, but I'm really pleased with the way that this has turned out. There's a couple of places where I didn't quite get resin on the canvas and you can still see it showing through. But as a first effort, I'm really pleased. Look out for more of these soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.